reaching out for your hands can you feel me now trying to give a sign that i'm right here cause when i am without you i'm freaking out and i can see in your eyes all you see I've been hoping for a new melody Just to get me some kind of remedy And I think I found it in your mind But the way that you know me is not Not right, not right The way that you know me is not brown sugar. It's a busy day here at Spirit Forest. I have one, two, three, four, six cars here. The boys are working. Hello and welcome to Spirit Forest. It's a Monday. Happy Monday. It's a Monday for me. Um, and uh, we're working a lot on the cabin today, getting a lot of stuff done. Some weather's changing, snow's going to be flying. I don't know, some of you have seen this before, but some of you have not. This is, like a, this is a camping hack for those that don't like doing dishes. And I am one of those people because it takes forever to clean dishes here. <clears throat> you can actually eat your oatmeal out of this container. You just pour the water directly into the oatmeal. There you go. Camping hack right there. You, you just mix it up and eat it directly out of this and it doesn't leak or anything like that. It's perfect. So that way you don't have to dirty any dishes. I just saw a bunny run. And I can't help it. Anytime I see a bunny, I think a bobcat's coming right by it. But looks like the bunny's safe for now. <laughs> so, it's really loud here. Not very peaceful. They have a generator going right now. And, um, you know, this is what it's like. I just wanted to film for you guys during the week. So that way you know what it's like during the week. Um, here at Spirit Forest. It's not um, very calming. <laughs> it's, it's very loud here during the week. Um, and a lot of times I'm off to to internet. Today um, I took the day off. Um, I have a lot of work I need to do on my property because again, like I said, there's a storm coming and it could possibly drop some snow, which I'm a little worried about my tent because you guys know my tent can't handle the snow. Um, so we only got a couple more weekends with the tent and that's about it. Um, and then I'm back into my backpacking tent. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Hmm. Always an adventure here. <laughs> ah, my glamping days will be over.
Ooh, it's cold, you guys. It's cold. Oh, then the sun just went away. <laughs> no. Um, okay, it's coming. It's just a little baby cloud. <laughs> oh, I'm so not ready for winter. It's fall now, but winter's fastly approaching. If you see a guy like coming right by me, can you just tell me? They probably are gonna think it's so weird I'm talking to a camera. But I'm like, no, I'm talking to my friends. <sighs> so, um, it is a vacation day for me right now. And uh, I love being at Spirit Forest. It's just, it's really loud. And um, lots of stuff going on with the cabin stuff. I'm happy I'm here. Um, I had to answer a few questions. I, got a, I had to talk to an electrician about something and, and then uh, the framers and stuff like that. So it's, it's actually kind of nice to be here because they all had questions for me. And, um, and I was able to answer them. I thought this would be a good time to <clears throat> show you some a vacation I took my kids on and uh, we went for a hike and it was in the uh, tropical rainforest and I thought it was just so awesome and so different like the trees were so different the smell was different um, we went to uh, Kauai did, did I tell you guys that I don't know I, I took them to Kauai I took my kids to Kauai and we got to um, swim in a river. <laughs> and Madison, Madison swung on a rope and flew into the river. It was just, it was just so much fun, you know. Um, yeah, my mom has a place in Kauai, and um, we were staying with her, my mom. And it was uh, just a beautiful experience to have. And um, I want to share some of it with you. So I'm going to show you a little bit of our vacation in Kauai, where it's nice and warm. <laughs>
Was it fun? Was it fun, Kyla? Yeah. <laughs> I never fell down well. Isn't Hawaii just beautiful? I love it there. I, I think I've been there like five or six times in my life. Um, my family really loves Hawaii and that's why my mom has a place there. And uh, it was really, really beautiful. I told my kids, I said, this might be the last time I take you to Hawaii because they've been there twice. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. You know, I do want to live there at some point in my life um, and just experience island life. You know, if I rent a place for a month or something, I think that would be kind of fun. I want to do that. Um, I always say that I want to retire now and work later. <laughs> you know, uh, I'm just meant to be retired right now. <laughs> I don't want to work anymore. Uh, but you know, uh, you still have to work. So, um, it's been, it's, it, again, it's been pretty loud here, but I want to show you some of the stuff that I've been working on kind of off camera, you know, um, sometimes where the, while the guys are working today, I'm just trying to give you a, a real update of what, what it's like here during the, the weekdays. Um, lots of people, um, even more people coming <laughs> just my, I, I, it's a good thing. I have a lot of parking here. Let's just put it that way. Um, it seems to be the meeting spot for all the builders. They all seem to come here. Um, and in fact, I, I met with some people this morning and uh, was talking about my uh, propane stuff. And you probably don't care about this, but um, yeah, it's, it's when you're doing it all on your own. 
I know one of the guys is looking at me wondering why I'm talking to myself. <laughs> I'm like, they don't know I have a YouTube channel. That's okay. I gave them all shirts though. <laughs> is this guy coming here too? No, he's passing by. <laughs> it's what it's like. It's so busy, so busy. Um, but you know what, I feel pretty safe here. Like when there's nobody here, I always think there's like, gonna be a bear coming by or a mountain lion. I don't feel that at all, because there's so many people here. Okay, let me show you what it is that I have been working on. Okay, you ready for this? Your girl has been busy. I am a worker. Let me show you what I've done. Now remember my tree guy that I'm like, I'm in love. <laughs> D, the guy that's helping me cut down trees. I'm paying him. I say he's helping me, but I'm paying him. Um, so I have this stack over here. Now Kyla's helped me stack some of this stuff over here on this side. So I'm gonna just kind of walk around and you're gonna see all these stacks of wood. And still I have a lot more wood even behind that I need to stack. Um, we are about at my property line though. Um, I just wanna show you, cause I'm so proud of myself for doing all of this work. Now I'm gonna have an archery range. Um, my cabin is back there and I will have an archery range and so um, I'm hiding <laughs> I'm hiding these things um, I probably need to put something um, in front of them as well and don't worry these are not they're not leaning on these at all or anything like that in fact some of them aren't even touching any wood okay so there's another stack what I'm going to be doing here shortly which will warm me up I'll be stacking all this wood that's on this pile this right here needs to be chipped. Here I have some a stack over here on this side. I'm going to turn around a little bit. There's a stack there. And another stack way over there. <laughs> Guys, all I have is just stacks of woods everywhere. Like, I'd say I'm prepared for the winter, but none of this is split. And none of this is covered. So I need to build a woodshed. Um, it is on my list of things to do. I know you guys are going to be like, that wood needs to be dried undercover. Fully aware of that. Um, there's another stack. I did that this morning and um, this one this morning. You'll see that D has a lot more wood to cut up for me. Um, it's a good partnership. Um, I'm keeping up with them. <laughs> kind of. Kind of. Um, hopefully by the end of today, my goal is to have all the wood that he has cut um, in some sort of stack. It makes a... If you saw... I wish I did a before picture. But all of this wood was just everywhere on the ground. Um, you couldn't really walk anywhere. So now it's a little bit better for him to to walk around and, and get some of this other wood. You'll see here he's fallen a bunch of trees as well. Um, <clears throat> so I told him, I said, hey, let's get the wood off the ground and then you can fall trees. And he says, no, it's just easier just to fall the trees and then cut all the wood. I'm like, okay, whatever's easier for him, you know. Um, but it looks like, like try to walking through that. Like he's walking through this with a, big chainsaw and cutting this all up the weird thing is that it's all open like these are all dead trees that he's cutting and it's so open here where before it just had a bunch of standing dead trees
I didn't realize how many dead trees I had in this area because it is pretty open in my forest now. <laughs> pretty open. Um, and it is only dead trees and rotten trees. There were some of the the stumps or the the pieces of wood that you could just see that like inside of it was just almost hollow which is really dangerous because a lot of times I'm camping here too so this makes me feel a little more confident when I'm camping I mean a lot of times I'm camping up on a hill I'm on a hill right now <laughs> but you never know with me you never know um, lots of lots of wood lots of wood so Basically, I'm doing this every weekend. Anytime I have free time, this is what I do. I just stack wood. And I think right now, I'm caught up to what um, Dee has done. So, um, he's probably gonna be coming out again sometime this week. He'll cut up some more and then I'll rinse and repeat and do it over and over and over again. And I will hopefully build a wood shed, which um, don't know when that's gonna happen. I really don't. I got a lot of things on my plate right now to do. So right now the wood's just going to have to sit here and I'm going to have to pick some stacks that I want to cover um, with a tarp so that way that wood stays dry. So at least I have some wood that's dry. I did try to, and I'm not sure if you noticed it in the, a lot of the cameras, but angles um, is everything's kind of pointing the same direction. I have it pointing north to south. And my thought of that was if it was pointing um, east to west then I would have a lot of snow on one side of it and uh, I thought that would be better if I point it, point it north to south so a lot of them and uh, I'm on a hill like this so by pointing them that way um, you know I have a tree right here a lot of times what I'm doing is I'm stacking the logs so that way they don't run, run down the hill <laughs> that would be not good if I stack all these and they all fall down the hill <laughs> That would so happen. <laughs> Anyways, I wish I was at my tropical island right now, but this will do for a vacation day. Um, it is nice. There's a couple times I just sat here and I just listened to the trees and listened to the guys building. Um, that's actually really good sound because I'm very happy that they're here today. Okay, I think I'm gonna call this a video. Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, I'll be going down to the city for two days and I'm coming right back up and I'll video for you when I come up again. I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.